And welcome back to Local 3 News. Before we get going with our 906 Weather Watchers page behind me, I got a photo that I took when I was at Spartan Stadium for the Michigan, Michigan State game a few years ago. And we are sad to say Spartan Stadium is gaining an awesome reporter, and so is the Lansing TV market. Haley Schoengard, yes, congratulations. This is my last day. So. I know, doesn't feel real. A year and a half has absolutely flown by, but. I'm excited to stay in the company and trust me, you all will still see me just on the screen this time. Yes, and I'm sure the UP is going to miss you. Aww. And um, I tell you what, everybody has loved all the, U the stories you've done across the UP, the community stories you've shared, the sports short stories you've shared. It has just been amazing. Aww, thank you. I will miss the UP and I will miss here everyone here at Local 3 Dearly. Yeah, so are you looking forward to covering some Michigan State football? I'm excited. Never been to a Michigan State football game. I'm really hoping that I get to go to a Michigan State Michigan game. So some big things are coming, some really big games, and I'm excited. I'm yeah. ready to get in there. Yeah, uh, I think the game's in Ann Arbor, the big one. Yes, Michigan Michigan yes. State this year's in Ann Arbor because it is an even year. Odd years are usually in East Lansing here, so they kind of trade off back and forth where the big game is. But this year, I believe it is in Ann Arbor. But we are absolutely happy for you here at Local 3 that you're moving up in the Next Star Media Group. Group yep. to WLMS yeah. in Lansing here. So practice with me. Go green. Go white. All right. There <laughs> you go. All right. Let's go from Spartan Stadium to our 906 Weather Watchers page. And a duck invaded us today. I know. Yeah. My but... last day in Marquette and the world's largest duck came to town. So you know I had to go see it. And it was beautiful. It was so cool. I think it's like 63, 62 around that feet high. Yeah, I saw it from Front Street <laughs> driving on by. I was like, wow, that is a big duck. I know. But few other photos we got besides the duck photos. But believe me, we got some duck <laughs> photos here. But Don Anderson Sr. starting us off. And we'll talk more about this coming up here in just a bit. 34 degrees, he said, at his place this morning. That is definitely a cold start. Looks like according to his weather station, he had a nice little rebound, though. Six, I think 66. No, that's his indoor temperature. So 37 because it says 745 in the morning. I saw 66. It's like, well, not too bad of a jump yeah. there by the <laughs> afternoon. But that is his indoor temperature. Thanks, Don, for sending that in. Marion Bowers, Taylor, last night's full moon over Lake Michigan and NEMA. The red lights are the windmills in the Garden Peninsula yeah, here. Yeah, and we were looking at it on the NMU mm -hmm. webcam last night. Well, we weren't looking at the supermoon, but it was just so bright. Mm -hmm. It was just illuminating all the trees and everything uh, in South Marquette. It just looked like it was just one big giant street light. But there's the super moon here. Marianne Bowers Taylor getting a beautiful shot of it. Thanks, Marianne, for sending that in. And then we have the duck invading us. Catherine is. Marsh sending this in here or let me use this here. And just she got a beautiful shot of the big duck and also in the background high cirrus clouds moving on in. So just beautiful. I don't you know, Know, it's just amazing how big that duck is and how far away you can see it. So I do uh, wish it would get in the water, though. That is my one request. I want to see this thing in the water, floating around by the ore dock. You think if we got a bunch of people, we could push it in the <laughs> water? <laughs> Surely, if it's just if it's just air in there. But the people were saying today that they have to use a crane to get it in and out, and that's why it can't go in the and water. I don't here. think we don't. I don't think we want the duck, you know, crashing into the ships either. That, no. Uh, because no. I'm not worried about the ships, but I'm worried that the uh, duck would poke a hole in it or the ships would poke yeah. a hole in the duck. Yeah, so, and then it would deflate. We wouldn't have the duck Yeah, anymore. and Marquette would be blamed for that forever. <laughs> so we don't want that here. So that's one duck. And then we got another photo of the duck here. Oh, you were right front and center here, Haley here. But see, and, look, how, look how big it is compared to these people. How'd they inflate it? That's my question. Maybe you'll have to go do some investigating. Yeah, if you're I'm in the area, if there, I'm wondering go if there's the out. generator right there, and then then another. I'm wondering if these like little boxes here absolutely yeah. inflated. Yeah. So, but definitely a giant duck. I think it's here the rest of the yep, weekend. Yep. If you're in the area, check it out. Definitely worth it. I mean, you kind of just look at the duck, take a couple of pictures with it, but take a picture of the, some of the ships. Those are pretty cool yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. You got some historical ships. It's a cool site. Never been to Marquette before, I believe. Yeah. So. Yeah, not something you get every weekend here in Marquette, no. but um, the giant big duck is in <laughs> town here. I'll have to go check it out a little bit closer than driving by on it on Front Street, so yep. I'll get a photo like that. All right, 
another beautiful day in, Sh in Schaefer today. Janet Richards sent this in. Either that's a crow or a big osprey there, or a hawk, might be a hawk, but she got that in flight here. Beautiful clouds mm -hmm. moving on in, beautiful blue sky as well. Thanks, Janet, for sending that in. And then Patty Layton, she said, sweet clouds this morning here, just some cirrus clouds, beautiful clouds in Scandia Township this morning. There's the sun, just a beautiful late morning. It was a chilly early morning, but a late morning into the afternoon. Definitely, it was just a picture perfect perfect summer day across Upper Michigan. And then Ron in Manistique, 42 degrees and one fisherman on the Manistique River this morning, he said, there he is right <laughs> there here. And it that was definitely a chilly fish time if you were going out fishing this morning here. Definitely needed the warmer clothes here, but thanks Ron for sending that one in. And then Kev, 40 degrees, he said at his place at the pre-dawn hour, just some beautiful photos looking eastward as some of the clouds were moving on in. No threat from these clouds, but they just made for a picturesque scene mm -hmm. here in Western Marquette County this morning. Thanks, Kev, for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, feel free to check it out on Facebook and also feel free to join. We'd love to show off your weather photos during WJMN Local 3 News. Quick look at the radar here and you can see temperatures are in the, or you can see our morning low temperatures this morning were in the 30s, but Haley, it was a nice rebound. Temperatures in the 70s to around 80. There's your temperatures right now. 60s to around 70 and we'll have some rain showers that are currently going on right now that will continue as we go through the rest of the weekend. So we're going to have those rain chances. Lows tonight, 50s and 60s. Tomorrow with rain chances, 60s and 70s. And rain chances continue on Sunday with high temperatures approaching 70 or going into the 70s.